welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashley. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you know when I upload. So today's video is going to be part two of the Black History Month makeup tutorial. So this video will be featuring all black and brown brands. So if you'd like to see how I snatch this look, keep watching. Alrighty, baby, so let's get started on this tutorial, honey. I pulled out a few new items, some throwbacks, okay? This is nostalgia for me. I am diving into some of my old makeup. Not old, but some throwback items, and it is warming my heart right now. So let's get started with these eyes. So this wouldn't be a Black History Month makeup tutorial without my good sis, Jackie Ina, okay? Round of applause for our good sis. Love her, met her. I went to Essence Beauty Carnival. Would not do it again. Um, Essence Fest, yes. Essence Beauty Carnival, no, unless they get it together. So let me just go in with my color. So I'm going with Edges and Ginger for my transition shade. I went to Essence Beauty Carnival and I went mainly because she was going. So that's how I ended up meeting her. So I'm blending those two colors in my crease right now. No, it just, I don't think it was really well organized, well planned out. They had no food vendors on site. They told us that we had to go outside to get food. So it was a two day event. And I purchased my tickets maybe like a February. This was before, this was BC, before COVID. So I purchased my tickets maybe like February. And then the event wasn't until maybe like April, I think, January or February I purchased them. But yeah, so it was a little unorganized. I don't really feel like they had enough affordable vendors there. There were no food options. VIP, we were supposed to have hors d'oeuvres and wine. Mm, it just wasn't giving. So I thought that they definitely could have done a little bit better. I think they started also selling like the VIP tickets later, closer towards the event now, instead of like it being two day, then you had the choice of going Saturday or Sunday. So I was just like, mm what happened to exclusivity but the vip ticket came with a meet and greet so i was like yeah i'm gonna, be, I'm gonna meet my good sis honey because that's where i was going so after her segment we all went up to vip so we can do a meet and greet with her do you know they said that they were only allowing 25 people so i was just like excuse me first of all i wore my ticket in like january so it's either i'm meeting jackie or i'm meeting jackie that's what we were going with that day so i was livid i actually ended up um being cool with one of the um security guards who actually turned out to be a doctor she was mad cool i was livid because i was like you guys did not say it was limited it was VIP meet and greet. It didn't say anything about first 15, first 25, first 50, and none of that. Ever, honey, Dennis came through and I actually made a friend there as well. So we both got a photo with her. But after I blended those two colors in my crease, I'm going to go in with edges. So after we were almost snubbed, Dennis was making his way down. So we were like, oh, Dennis, like, can we just get a picture? You know, they wouldn't let us online and we had VIP tickets. They didn't tell us that it was limited. So he's like, I got y'all. So he had told her, oh, you know, these last two. And I was just like, Dennis, not you holding us down. So we ended up getting a photo with her. I'm going to insert the photo in this video. I definitely thanked her for all the work that she has done in the community and also always advocating and trying to implement and push diversity, which I really appreciate because I don't feel like there are that many influencers, women of color that are able, that have actually probably gotten to her status, I would say. But who knows, honey, because you know, we are on our way, what's for you will be for you. But uh, she was just really sweet and it was just such a great moment. But yes, that is my meeting the Jackie Ina story and I'm obsessed with her content now. I love that she is living her best luxury lifestyle, honey. All of the things that some of us grew up with that she's doing, like she steams her sheets and everything. I grew up with my grandmother ironing sheets, okay, honey? She was ironing everything. So this was before steaming. So I think I wanna mix these two shades. So there's Dollars right here. And I also have this Mercury Magic. It's almost like a hunter green pigment. I got this from Jayla Rue. I think I wanna mix 
But you know what, I'm going to go in with Dwellers first and probably tap a little bit of this on top. So I'm just gonna place this all over the lid. Just let me know down below if you've ever met anyone that you either follow, whether they're a celebrity or influencer. But generally, I think I've had a good experience. I met Pharrell too. I met Pharrell too, and he is just as fine as you see him on the screen, honey, as in person, okay? Not a wrinkle in sight. This was when Fashion Night Out was a thing. And yes, oh my gosh, this is so long ago. I put NW40 Pro Longwear Concealer all over my face to go meet him. I thought concealer was supposed to go everywhere, honey, so it went everywhere. And um, that was when he was launching the Billionaire's Girls Club t-shirt, so I got my shirt and I still have it, but that was the time. So after I laid Dollars on the lid, I am just going back over to smoke out Dollars and Edges just so it is a seamless transition. And then we have to go back in with Edges and Ginger just to blend out Dollars so that is seamless as well. Now after today, I have to wash these brushes because it is tragic. So I put a little bit of that J. LaRue pigment on my brush. So we are just going to tap a little bit of that right on top. Completely change the color, but I just kind of want to shape shift it a little bit. Just adding a little bit of that green. Go back in with some of edges and just tap that on the outer feet just to make sure that it is still a smoke session. And whatever's left over on my brush from Dollars, I am just blending that back in. Just going back in with the brush that I had that Mermaid Magic with, just to go ahead and blend where I placed it. For lashes, I'm going with Luna Magic Beauty Bebecita Lashes. These are what they look like. And they are drugstore and affordable. What more could we ask for? Alrighty, so I popped on those lashes. I went in with my Magnificent Minx Glue Honey, and you know I had to use the mirror to get in there. So, oh, I also lined it with the pen. So this is a lash and liner pen. You can also use this to apply your lashes. So honey, we are stacked. For primer, of course, I'm going with my Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm. I feel like I said this already, but this packaging is so pretty. I feel like it looks like what my skin would look like if we're a package. Oh, and this is what the Bebecita lashes look like on. Shout out to Luna Magic. We're going with the Oma Beauty Say What Foundation. I did a review on this way back when, way back when, and this foundation is still bomb. So, fun fact, the owner of the brand, Sharon, he created a nonprofit organization. It's called Pull Up For Change. So, it's supposed to help advance the economic wellness of black community. Started around the time, there were a lot of protests in the wake of George Floyd. They said, like, hold businesses accountable. They really want to see where the representation was and if people were putting their money where their mouth was. A lot of these companies did not have black and brown people in these seats and they were called out to make a change. So some companies did make a change, some did not, and they reported back to show what progress they've made to make sure that they implemented diversity within the team and the staff. And I feel like the lack of diversity is really the issue because that's why a lot of the times we're seeing these makeup launches and there's no representation, honey. Um, I know that there was a big controversy with the whole Tarte Cosmetics trip and, you know, they have their specific clientele that they wanna cater to. Um, once they started, I remember when they dropped that foundation though, it was that, it was that rain something, rain forest whatever collection that they dropped and there were like two brown shades and at that point, I stopped supporting Tarte. I was like, yeah, no, I'm good. You think there are only two black and brown people on this planet, honey? Like, let's be real. So since then, and Tarte Shape Tape was bomb. Once I finished using it, then that's when that collection dropped and I was just like, I'm over it. So I stopped supporting them. And it's so crazy because you'll see people in the TikTok comments asking, where's the diversity? Where are the people that look like us? And the owner skips over all of those comments and only responds to the ones that are like, oh, Tarte is my favorite brand. And I'm just like, come, come on now, we need to address this. Honestly, think the fact that they're not addressing it is really saying something. And you know, that just might be the time where you just need to step away from the brand and it's okay. 
you want to cater to whoever you want to cater to that's fine you just won't these coins won't cater to you blush I'm going in with my Danessa Myricks Beauty yummy skin blurring balm powder flush in Jubilee so if you know me you already know what color family this is in I don't know it's just something about a reddish brown blush that is just the bee's knees for me so this is what she looks like of course still that standard packaging Ugh, gorgeous so this is what the color looks like. So this, I would recommend using this on top of your liquid foundations or cream foundations. Okay, this is looking good, she is looking good. I'm definitely gonna go back over this with a powder blush, but I definitely wanted to blend this in. So while that is settling on my cheeks, I'm going to go in with my Pat McGrath Labs Concealer, and this is in the shade M20. Just gonna add this. I know I mentioned this not being one of my faves, mostly because it creased, but I'm just gonna let this dry down for a while. We gonna let her dry, honey. It is a beautiful concealer, it just creases for me. So while that's hanging out, let's cream contour. So we are going in with the LYS Love Yourself Cream Bronzer in No Limits Strength. So this is what it looks like. I definitely did a review on this, so if you have not checked this out, please do so. Look at that. I mean, could we have asked for a more pigmented cream bronzer? Do you believe there's a deeper shade than this? This is what I mean, range. It doesn't stop there, honey, because we have the matching powder bronzer, okay? Love yourself, got us together. So I'm just gonna let this dry down. I'm gonna blend out this cream contour while my concealer is drying down. Got a little carried away with the bronzer. So I'm just going right back over with my foundation brush just to blend that out. I forgot how pigmented it is. I think I'll go back over it again once I blend out this concealer. But so far it looks really pretty. You know, this is new for me. I I'm not like a cream blush or a liquid blush. Girl, you know, I'm trying here. Okay, we are trying something new. Alrighty, so now that this has dried down, honey, let's start blending this out. So just to make sure we didn't lose that blush, I'm just tapping that right over the concealer to go back and blend that out. I'm just tapping that in with a brush. This looks really pretty. Am I going to become a liquid or cream blush girl now? Alrighty, so let's go in and set this concealer, honey. We're going in with Oma Beauty's Trippin' Smooth Setting Powder in Light. Now, if you have not seen my review on this, go on and check that out after this video. But look at the shape of the setting powder. Like this was like, what were y'all thinking? But whatever y'all were thinking, keep it coming, honey, because this is the cutest packaging ever. So I could dip my brush right inside there and set this concealer. I dipped my sponge in there, and now we are just going to go in and set this concealer. We set that. So I'm going with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation in the shade 410. This is what she looks like. Going with some bronzer, this is LYS. No Limit Matte Bronzer in Strength. Pat McGrath Labs Blush in Paradise Venus. That's gonna go right on top that Danessa Myricks blush. It's going to be a match made in heaven. Alrighty, beauty, so we are back. You know, I wanna add just like a little pinch more of that pigment. I find that as it's all come together, I'm missing the green just a little bit, so I'm just gonna go in and add a little bit of it. Going in with that same brush, and I'm just tapping it right in the center. I'm just going right back in with that brush that I use Edges and Ginger with just to blend that out. And yes, we added just a pinch more of that Hunter Green. So now for the lips. So I feel like this is a color that I normally do not go for. We are going with Pink Lips Cosmetics Lip Liner in High Profile Brown. So we're just going to line the lips. For the liquid lipstick, we are going with Pink Lips Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick and After Party. This is what she looks like. I'm just gonna add a little bit in the center. 
So while that's drying down, we need some highlighter, honey. So we are going with Danessa Myrex. This is her N Light highlighter in heat. Now, I don't know if she still sells this. I've had this for a minute, but um, I used to use this all the time. This is gorgeous. And one thing Danessa gonna hold us down with, honey, is products for melanin. And I'm just gonna catch my nose. And then we gotta put some on the cheeks. And now for the glow it's Fenty. It is Fenty, honey. This is the limited edition. This is Fenty Beauty's Gloss Balm in Riri. Now, we all know our good sis performed during the Super Bowl, so this was that collection. As the football on the top with FB for Fenty Beauty, but this is the color. So pretty. I do feel like I need to get her liquid lipstick as well. Y'all know me. I really just am hoarding it because of the packaging, and I'm still going to use it. But this is what Riri looks like. I feel like this fits for the occasion. Gonna pop this right on top. Oh wow, this color is really pretty. That caught me off guard. Really pretty. I'm definitely gonna be layering this gloss balm with other colors. But I said, you know, this is not a color that I usually do. Yes, beauties, this is the finished look. And as always, beauties, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you all for the continued support. And I will catch you in my next one. Thanks for watching.